Hey guys, welcome to this amazing tutorial. It is the third part of our tutorial series and in this part we will take our drill and export that so you can use it for product renderings in your normal 3D software. And if you want to learn how to create a 3D model from scratch in plasticity, check out my first part of this tutorial series, link in the description or just click here on the right. And also if you're interested in how to create the photorealistic product renderings of our 3D models, definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those videos. And let's check Check out how to export our drill. Awesome, so here we have our model of the first two parts and let's export it. So when you finish you go here up left and export save as and you save it here somewhere and you use your wavefront obj file and just call it who you export and save it. And then you're welcomed here with those settings and you can basically the first four are the most important. So you can export it as a triangles but yeah, if you want to unwrap that or something, what I personally never do for my product renderings, but I don't know if you're using that for games or something. Um, but I like to go with quartz or n-gons, so I prefer n-gons. Sometimes I get some shading errors, then I just go to quartz. But look, it looks so, so, so clean already. So plasticity's export is really good. And here you see we have some hard edges. So I just want here with the density slider, you can adjust the overall density of the mesh. So you see you're just getting, so let's go here to one. You see it's even loading a little bit because I think we will get a lot of detail. Bam, you see, so it looks still amazing. So I mean, if you want to unwrap that, you can easily unwrap. You can here select all um, yeah, of those continuous lines, but even that is for me a little bit too much. But usually I go with the highest uh, because I just do like product renderings and I absolutely don't care about how much to poly um, polygons I have. But just maybe one overkill thing. So if you go high with the density here in the fillets, you have yeah, a little bit too overkill amount of fillets. So for that, you have the min width slider. So if you activate it, you start with 0 0.0 and bam, you don't have any detail anymore. So bring that way, way down. And the more you bring it down, the more detail you will get just at those roundings. So you see, we are starting to get some detail. Whoops, that was the right wrong. So if I here, so if I go here to the J James Bond number, we have something like that, but I want even less. And you see now we have three polygons. Maybe we can get with zero, four, four polygons. It loads a little bit and that didn't work out. So try zero, zero, three, bam, you see. Now, here, look, that looks really good. It's still maybe, no, that's really good. So now we have a lot of detail, but not too crazy amount. And here we need this, so this uh, drill looks good. And yeah, so sometimes, um, yeah, you want to break those long polygons, so you can go here to max width and activate that. And then you will break it here and a few more polygons, but here in this particular example, we don't really need that. And then you have here surface plane tolerance. So if you go very low, you see you get just at the rounding more details. So those roundings will get even smoother. And if you go a little bit higher, it will break it a little bit more down. But so in my understanding, it's just for the rounding. So if you really want to go high quality, it again depends if you're just making one product render of one of one product, then go really the highest as you can, especially if you do like high res, because then you don't want any jagged lines. So yeah, that's basically it. And that looks really, really good. So yeah, there are some additional options, but in 95%, I use just those four or five. So if you go okay, and if we import that, little thing here. Bam, you see, it's almost perfect. So we have here some shading errors. I don't know why. So maybe if you know, let me know in the comments, but everything else looks really, really good. You see, but here it's some problem. So when this happens, I just go back and again, export save as and OBJ use that and make it a two and the only thing which I will change is here go to quartz and yeah, now it's not that perfect anymore of topology, but let's try. But now that mostly solves our problems here with shadings. So bam, now I've imported again the second option. 
And if I delete here the standard material, guys, look, that looks absolutely beautiful. And you could still unwrap that. I mean, if you want, I don't, I don't, I don't never, I never unwrap, but yeah, that looks really beautiful. And if you want to learn more about murder link and exporting, check out my free course. First link in the description. You will learn so much. You will have so much fun. And if you are a Cinema 4D and Octane user, check out my next video where we will create really cool product renderings of that drill here. So see you in there. Have a nice day. Bye.